Uh, Annie, please uh, roll call for us. Yes, sir. We have Cheryl Hartman, Christina DeWar, Martin Kinston, Maddie Scott, M. Fat, and Mel Fisher online. In 206, we have Commissioner Slotnick and Stuart Meyer, um, Andrew Chorney, Emmy Bristow, Chris Lounsbury, myself, Annie Cathy, Terry Powers, and Vinny Pavlov. Thank you, Annie. Is there any public comment on items not on today's agenda? Seeing none, we will move on. We've got a consent agenda here with seven items. Any questions on the consent agenda or want to pull anything off for the discussion? No, I'm really glad to see Rock Creek Bridge happening. Okay. Yes, I think there's the comment. There we go. I, I would uh, move we pass this consent agenda. I'll second that. Any further discussion or public comment on the motion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, moving right on to the action items. Item number one. Eric Dixon, are you out there? Yes. Do we have anyone from Public Works? We don't. I can cover this. Yes, list. Sunset West Thanks. Water District. Yeah, so as the commission might remember, we've been working. Uh, Sunset Water District is one of the districts that our Public Works uh, oversees. They have been working on upgrades to that system, uh, part of which is being funded by the ARPA allocation. Uh, to this part of this is being funded by assessments inside that district, and then a small piece of it is being uh, funded by remittance from the uh, tax increment finance districts. And what this will do is upgrade that water system, uh, install the uh, new filter, which will make sure that the water or the new uh, filtering system, which will make sure that the water is healthy, safe and clean for folks to drink. Uh, the commission might recall inconsistently, there had been a couple of chloroform uh, tests that had come back positive from there. So these are the updates to that system um, to get it ready. And so uh, it had been out for bid, uh, and this is just the award of that bid amount to get that contract of work done in this fiscal year. And refresh our memories as far as the financing for this. Or the, yeah, so, the, so sorry, the funding, the funding for this is, remittance. Uh, is uh, about 30,000 is coming from the TIF remittance. Uh, the largest chunk is coming from the American Rescue Plan Act, ARPA funding. Uh, for this one, it looks like Shane just jumped on, so he will know the exact numbers for that. Hi, Shane. Uh, for, for the sunset, I was just talking about where the funding was coming from. So I know it's ARPA, a small piece from TIF remittance, and then Shane, was there any other funding from the district coming in there too? No, and apologies for being late. Derek asked me to jump on this, and I didn't have it. But uh, no, those are the two uh, the, uh, the the two funding items there. So that means there's no cost of folks. The no additional cost of the district. That's quite amazing. Oh, well done. Okay, this uh, has, has been a while coming, so. Hey, health safety water. Yes, um, I moved to um, uh, award. What's the word here? Do the deed. Do the, Do deed. the deed. I okay. can't read this. Okay, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'll second read it. Any further discussion or public comment on item number one in the motion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks, Trenchless. Thank you, Shane and Chris. So Chris, the next one is yours, compensation board. Yes, so as, as the commission knows, uh, every year you're required to appoint a compensation board that has to contain the three commissioners and the county attorney. Three other elected officials, uh, which are chosen by the commission, you serve on that from the other remaining elected officials and up to four citizen representatives. So for fiscal year 25, uh, the commission met with the other elected officials. Uh, so we will have the three commissioners who are sitting here, Matt Jen as the county attorney when the compensation board meets would normally have been Kirsten, uh, except for she retires before the first meeting. Uh, then we have the elected county auditor, Dave Wall, the elected superintendent of schools, Aaron Lipkind, and then uh, the elected clerk of district court, Amy McGee, who will serve in those roles. And then our two citizen members are Karen uh, Harrison, who was an HR director for Missoula County, as well as did uh, HR for several nonprofits here in town. And Steve Johnson, uh, many years ago, was the director of HR for Missoula County, but most recently was with the city of Missoula in that role. And so those will be the members that are proposed for this year. And then we have two meetings, one set in April and one in May that are advertised in Missoula. That's all. Questions on this? No. Motion. I would, uh, yeah, I would move that we appoint these folks to the compensation committee. Second. Any further discussion or public comment on the motion? Thanks for serving. Yes. All right, seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right, that ends our action items. We have two pieces of correspondence. Do Jackson we Lee is not on. 
So do, do we want to do the incident management team and come back? Maybe Jackson will. Uh, yes. I'll just do them out of a lot of order. So uh, as the commissioners know, the uh, Missoula County incident management team was fortunate enough to get an assignment uh, for some additional training and work in the field to assist Hawaii after their devastating wildland fires. Uh, so we sent a number of members over there, uh, including uh, Randy Ocon, Nick Holloway, uh, the other Prozac. Uh, Ken Parks. Ken Parks, Ken Parks, thank you. Oh my gosh. Miles. Um, oh God. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, the Prozac brothers. Uh, Ken, Ken Parks, as well as some folks from City Fire and other parts of uh, the county as part of the incident management team. Uh, while they were there assisting with the recovery efforts uh, from the wildland fire, they actually took over and managed an incident related to flooding because of rains that happened. Oh, they uh, got it so, all. Yeah, as folks may be aware, when you have an area that's been significantly burned, the soils can't absorb water, and so any rain rain can result in pretty significant uh, degradation and mudslides and those things. So they helped to manage uh, that incident in addition to the work that they were doing for the recovery. So this is just a thank you letter from the commissioners uh, for the time that folks put over there. They work, generally speaking, 14 to 16 hour days. Uh, they work seven days on and they were there. Uh, they can be there from anywhere from 14 to 21 days. Um, as an assignment away. So it's it's pretty intense, even though it sounds like they got to go to Hawaii. It actually is they were in Hawaii working, not um, yeah. not as as tourists. And so they put in significant number of hours uh, and uh, did uh, yeoman's work while they were there in, in getting things. Uh, How many months were they there? Uh, so we had two different deployments uh, that went over one that was just Missoula County and one that was Missoula County uh, along with the uh, uh, Gallatin County uh, folks. So we have, uh, we had two sets that went over uh, there. Our first group was there for three weeks, I believe uh, for 21 days and the second group went for 14. So. Oh, okay. I thought. Uh, so a total, was, of, total of five weeks across the. Gotcha. I thought it was longer. Than that side, so. Okay. Great. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate you write them a letter. Their service. Yes. Yeah. I was going to say, and so uh, thanks right. to the communication thanks, staff for putting thanks. together the letter for that. Or I mean, close to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're That's one of the same. Right. <laughs> he is not. Okay, well, uh, for anyone who's wondering, this is a letter of support for the Clinton Community Park Working Group's T-Mobile Hometown Grant application here. And this is phase two of that park. Great. Yeah, they've done great work. I can't imagine when that's going to Continue what supporting it. Yes, yeah. So, yeah, and Jackson's done fantastic work up there. That letter will be circulating. One other bit of news that folks have not heard the Federal Railroad Administration has picked Missoula, Montana as the location of the fourth and final long distance passenger rail study uh, workshop um, uh, for the Pacific Northwest or the Northwest region of the country. This will be a capstone event and I, uh, they would not be holding an event in Missoula unless uh, they are committed to restoring this route through what, what what is is it? So uh, this is happening on June 6th. Oh, so uh, it'll be happening on the fourth floor of the library. Nice. And, Great. Uh, so we will be seeing officials from USDOT, Federal Railroad Administration, Amtrak, uh, across the entire region. And this will be basically the, uh, the rollout of the final recommendations on uh, long distance passenger rail. Is there, is there some sense. way we could? The county going to formally welcome them here. I I think that's worth um, worth talking about. The other thing that's folded into this because this See, high sorry. profile. Um, <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Uh, I mean, I that's oh, no. Showing up today. <laughs> we really appreciate you guys wearing the muscle. Uh, so so because it's only a small novel, you have to yeah, yeah. show up a film. There'll be a film. <laughs> You're good dialogue. I, I, think, I think it'll be fine. I'm supposed to be at my junior college reunion that day. <laughs> I'm nice and small. As one, as one would have it the following day. This is, this is uh, so do your reunion on the 6th. On the 7th, <laughs> the Big Sky Passenger Rail Authority has decided to host or to have their annual meeting here in Missoula. <laughs> Uh, in conjunction with and on the heels of the uh, Federal Railroad Administration's meeting. Our first three meetings were in Lewistown, Billings, and Butte. So we're finally coming. Bringing it sort of full circle back to Missoula. Sort of thing. Could we, riffing here, could be a bad idea. We reach out to the city and maybe us and Andrea stand in front of this group and say, thank you so much for coming. I thought we could arrange such a thing. Yeah. yeah. 
I heard it on the radio this morning. Oh, wow. So great. Did you hear it? So how, how do we... I, I, I can... Uh, we can have offline discussions and yeah, thank you. more details. We have a little bit of time until June, so yeah, okay. yes, great. Thank um, Martin, you're uh, lurking out there. Do you have any uh, any questions about anything? <laughs> lurking. <laughs> yeah, two two quick questions. One, uh, the railroad issue. What what will you guys be discussing? What's the point of that meeting? Well, the point of the meeting, and and this is not a a full on public meeting. The way this has worked, uh, the June sixth meeting is part of the long distance passenger rail study that's been going on for about a year and a half. The country has been broken up into various regions and in each region there have been four workshops held to help come up with the recommendations that will go to Congress later in this year recommending which uh, discontinued Amtrak routes or new long distance routes might be restored. So the previous meetings have occurred in Denver, uh, Boise, Idaho, and Seattle, and this fourth one for the Northwest region will be in Missoula. Uh, up until now, it's been just refining those recommendations, uh, asking questions about which routes ought to be restored, uh, what the service ought to look like, and uh, this will be a kind of a, a first peek at what the recommendations that will be delivered to Congress later in the year will look like. Thank you, and just a second quick question. The county deployment to Hawaii, I know that the county has deployed to Florida, I believe after the hurricane or something like that. Is this like part of a national brain trust program where counties share experts around the country? Is that a federal program or is it just a Missoula County program? I mean, how did you, yeah, guys, so, did you, get, how did you get involved in it? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question, Martin. So it is actually part of the national uh, program under FEMA. Uh, the incident management team is, is formed under FEMA and credentialed by FEMA. And so FEMA contacts states when other states have disasters and ask for the, the states will ask for specific assets. Uh, so it could be folks who specialize in planning or logistics or all kinds of different things, communication. Uh, and then the states will go through and contact uh, local teams or local team members and attempt to fill those and then provide those back to the state that needs assistance. And they review the credentials and qualifications for the individuals and then uh, pick the individuals they'd like to come. Uh, Missoula is just really fortunate through the work of Adrian Beck, uh, Missoula City Fire and Missoula Rural Fire as three key partners to have folks who have really invested. Uh, in this, and we have some really highly skilled and qualified folks in Missoula who have been able to be picked for some of those national assignments like Florida and uh, Hawaii, where they've been able to go and assist. Was the Sheriff's Department involved in Florida? Sheriff's, okay. yes. And so Sheriff's Department has also uh, been involved in several incidents uh, as well where they've, they've traveled out of state. Because we're rad, Martin. Exactly. Hey, hey. <laughs> you guys are rad. Right. Thanks for your time and have a good day. <laughs> Thank you, Martin. Thank you. Anything else from anyone? All right. Have a great day. Thank you.